arrows in the name of Jesus Christ. I release these arrows, Lord, in the hunter's hand in the name of Jesus Christ. I release these arrows in the name of Jesus Christ. I release these arrows. I release these arrows. I release these arrows in the name of Jesus. I release these arrows. I release this arrow in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophetically speak to him, God, favor beyond the borders of this nation. In Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I thank you for this car. I release it as an arrow in the parents' hands, Lord. They will never miss a target in the name of Jesus Christ. I release her as an arrow in the name of Jesus. I thank you for this arrow's law. I thank you for this arrow's law. I thank you, Messiah, for these arrows in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you for these arrows, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for these arrows in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you for these arrows in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you for their life in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Messiah, for this arrow in the hand of hand in the name of Jesus Christ. I release them prophetically into your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. I release this arrow floor in the name of Jesus Christ. I release this arrow in the name of Jesus Christ. I release her in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophetically speak grace, peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for this arrow. Bless it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, finally, to Nadal cut a cake quickly. We want to cut this cake. Our sister Christine, I gave you an opportunity, responsibility, that you permanently you will be responsible for that boy forever until Jesus comes back. Do you understand? You know you are saying these words from the altar, and if you had a choice to say no, you did. You understand? If you had a choice. So there is a very powerful cake. Bana sifu sana. Ah, uzuri ike kita tutosha sisi tuko kwetu wapa. Kuna soda siku pale zimechificha pale nyuma ya hiyo. Muziwe na stress. Uh, zimechificha pale nyuma ya hiyo. So, um, I want to give my sister Christine a uh, few minutes. We, tomorrow, we have a service here. Prophetic service. We call it uh, Breakthrough Day. That's on Monday service from 1 o'clock to 2 tomorrow. And um, we want to invite all of you tomorrow please if you are in town unveil yourself want to give my sister time to cut a keki atueleze kidogo alafu nimemwambia nimepea majukumu na njenga karibia hapa pia kwa sababu hii keki the first meal for this boy to be shared by many people not by few by many people Jesse has been enjoying himself alone now today you want to be bring him bring him on and the lord will bless you kama uja ombewa usiende nyumbani bila kuombewa please and i would want to have some few people appointment that tomorrow not today and the lord will bless you you want to be an arrow everywhere okay bwana asifiwe tena eh wakati nilikuja hapa nikiongea mara ya kwanza nilije introduce kama christine kisos ndio lakini sasa nataka kusema mimi naitwa mama Jesse na nashukuru sana Mungu kwa kunipatia hiyo new title. E, sasa mbele yetu tuko na cake kidogo. Najua kawaida sisi wa Afrika, si ndio? Tukikutana mali tuko. Lazima tukule kitu, si ndio? Tukunywe kachai e, ya mtoto ndio tusikie tumeshika mtoto, si ndio? Ukienda huko kwetu Maragoli hata mnaona kwa Facebook huko kwa Twitter wanasema walui wanapenda nini? E, na wanapenda nini? Kukula, si ndio? Sasa kwa sababu hiyo ndio title tuko nayo lazima tutimize kila kitu na tungekuja hapa na ugali. Lakini baada ilikuwa, si ndio? Sasa kwa sababu ya technology squeeze ugali na transformiwa inakuwa keki, si ndio? Na uko kwetu pia mnajua mumia siko kwetu eh so ni sugar iko kwetu si ndio muhoroni iko huko kwa njia huko sasa hiyo ugali tunapika tuna transform tunaweka ndani sukari preservative eh wa maragoli wako na ngombe maziwa iko ndani si ndio 
na hizo vitu zote ni za rotuba ni nutrition kwa watoto mnajua tena waluya wako na sifa ingine wanapenda nini ugali eh kuku kuku inataga nini mayai mayai iko hapa ndani okay. so hizi vitu zote ni nutrition kwa watoto na yote imekuwa symbolic kwa hivyo msiseme amku kula ugali ugali iko hapo msiseme amku kula kuku kuku iko hapo si ndio na msiseme amku kunywa chai kwa sababu maziwa iko ndani e, so kuna keki hapa mbele yangu imeandikwa verse mbili verse ya kwanza ni kidhani hii verse it is symbolic to wanjiko and to us me and jenga as the parents of jesse the verse is proverbs 22 verse 6 and it says train up a child in the way he should go and when he is old he will not depart from it the second verse is luke 2 chapter 52 it says and jesus grew in stature in wisdom and in favor with god and man so sisi kama wazazi wa jesse tunamuombea akue vile yesu alikuwa si ndio yesu alikuwa akakuwa mrefu si ndio akakuwa na na hekima na watu wakampenda mungu wakampenda na binadamu wakampenda si ndio so bila kupoteza wakati tunataka tukate hii ugali unajua walio wakipika ugali lazima ikue very presentable so keki yenyewe iko very presentable kuiva imeiva so nitaita mam Eh. Hey. Sasa mama kuja kama mju, kama nyanya ya mtoto. Yes. Taji amepewa taji, si ndio? Eh. Hey. So tutasaidiana na yeye. Kata keki. Shiko. Kuja pia hapa. Hapa si Kabisa. <laughs> Aya tunakata kuna wimbo Ati Come and see what the Lord has done. Come and see. Come and see what the Lord has done. Come and see what the Lord has done. Come and see. Come and see what the Lord has done.